Hello everybody, my name is Sigtoad and welcome on my camping trip. Nah, just kidding, we don't camp, we are not that kind of person. Now, what will we be seeing in this video? And that is a little bit of a look at the Infiltrator class, the other light class in the game besides the Light Assault, which once again means that you will be dying very rapidly, although the Light Assault has a... not the Light Assault, excuse me, the Infiltrator has a perfect way of countering this, and that is cloak. The filtrator can basically cloak whenever he has energy in his pack which works just the same way it does with any other class which will render him almost completely invisible allowing you to of course relocate to new positions without people spotting you, infiltrate facilities without people spotting you, the possibilities are very much endless. So Infiltrator once again a uh, clause to confuse your enemies with although considering that you use a sniper rifle you have a lot more power in that you can simply pick a good spot, pick people off, cloak and move to another good spot. Now you can also make the infiltrator, or at least you will eventually be able to make the infiltrator into a close range melee clause from what I can see, pretty much like the spy in Team Fortress 2 because uh, they are eventually there are going to be other types of cloak that will do other things i presume stuff like allowing you to move faster but uh, draining a lot or making you even more invisible because currently you are pretty much uh, invisible but people can still spot you if they look out for you so you are not a predator you can be seen and you can be killed and that is a grenade Look and wait for him to come inside. As you can see, he can pretty easily spot me inside of this room here, and I pretty much don't stand a chance now, because all I have is my pistol, which of course isn't as good as his rifle, but he appears to be a terrible shot, and we take him down easily. Now, the way that sniper rifles work is they are, of course, faction specific. As you can see here, this is the Terran Republic sniper rifle. It's a semi automatic sniper rifle. The Terran Republic is all about putting a lot of bullets down range, so their sniper rifles reflect this as well. And what this means is you will be very easily able to put down multiple shots down range before the enemy has time to get to cover, but they will not be all that damaging. What this means is not a one shot kill headshot. I'm snor I'm sorry, but that simply does not work for the Return Republic. Although you will be able to go for a headshot and then a shot to the body to quickly kill people. Now it takes about three shots uh, to a and I have no idea what happened there, but apparently jump pads are a little bit bugged. Regardless, it takes about three shots to the body to kill most people, although a heavy assault will require a fourth shot. Now, the new conglomerate has a uh, bolt action sniper rifle as a faction specific that will uh, one shot kill on a headshot and otherwise deal massive damage but they of course need to scope out to reload after each shot and that will make it so that sh the one shot is all that you have but I like the difference there between the actual factions although there seems to be a little bit of an issue with the Vanu sniper wherein it is useless as in 3 to 4 headshots won't even kill a light gloss and that is why you don't see any Vanu infiltrators honestly which is pretty sad because I'd like to be able to kill them now, what you're supposed to do as an infiltrator is pretty much use your cloak to get into a favorable position and assist your team, because of course this isn't about solo play, you're not going to camp on top of a hill and just get kills, that's not how it works. You're pretty much a class to shut down the classes that are supposed to hold down a position. For example, an engineer, he can put down a turret that he can control. Once he gets on that, you can cloak, get to a side position and just shoot him in the head and be done with it. Pretty much a clause of cloak, get to a position, get the perfect shot, which you can very easily guarantee through your cloak, and allow your team to push on. Now, because there are no common pull weapons, we currently cannot one shot kill as the Eternal Republic but eventually all uh, snipers will be able to do that they say so I suppose it'll be pretty interesting although of course you are completely useless against any kind of vehicle you cannot snipe pilots out of aircraft as much as I wish you could 
tanks are of course completely impervious to anything. You have a grenade, which will help a bit, but of course no class to just run in there and kill people, that doesn't work. You're supposed to hang back and pick people off and use your cloak to move from a strategic position to a strategic position. Now your sorry, your uh, deployable item, your class specific deployable item will also help with that. It is a claymore and you can use that to either of course block off your positions from enemies although what I preferably use them for which I currently cannot do here is uh, basically take a position in a building start picking people off and then put a claymore and move to another building you will usually get a kill on the first person who comes to look although it's a heavy assault I don't think you kill them straight out so that's of course a bit of a downside but then again they're heavy assault they're supposed to take quite of a beating and uh, besides that, I can see it being a pretty interesting class to use in a squad environment, although they don't seem as necessary as something like the light assault or the heavy assault would be, simply because of their more niche role of really only countering other snipers, other infiltrators actually, and uh, engineers on their turrets. Besides that, other classes can do what they do better but it'll be certainly interesting to give them a go and thank god that they can't do everything on their own because I mean everybody would be playing Infiltrator just look at a game like Battlefield 3 so let's hope that it stays like this and well it'll be certainly an interesting class to play so I hope you found this video informative and if you want to see more then I hope you'll stay with me my name has been Sigdot and I hope to see you next time